Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of For The Par, Mind, Body, Golf. So before we get into today's video, you may or may not, the keen eye of you out there, uh, have noticed I am wearing something on my neck. And yes, I know this is super cheesy and probably means not a lot to some people, but to me it means a hell of a lot. I got my very first event medal, uh, yesterday in fact. Uh, I did the Chewinberry 10k trail run. Uh, it was a 200 meter elevation run and I managed to beat my 10k personal best, my 1k personal best um, and achieve my overall goal of a sub 55 minute 10k which yeah, I'm so incredibly proud of. So yeah, I just want to take this moment just to show you all the, the very first event medal I've ever got. Obviously it's one of many that will be hopefully uh, bestowing upon me the rest of the year but um, yeah it's my very first so it will be hung proudly on my wall uh, in the not too distant future I just need to find a, a medal hanger um, because my plan is to fill it up so yeah just want to show that off before we get into the video but let's get into it now. Today's video is going to encompass two parts of the mind body golf channel so the the mind and the body part. Um, we'll start here I'm very fortunate to show you the the, the lodge we stayed in. So we stayed in mid Wales in a, an area called Welshpool um, and we stayed in a, a private lodge called Upper Gethley. Now it's not spelt that way but um, I have been informed as best I possibly can by the, the owners that that's how you pronounce it. It was absolutely stunning. So um, there was uh, myself, my wife and a, a, another couple with their, with their dog um, and we had a, a two bedroom lodge with hot tub and as you can see some of the most amazing scenic views around us. Um, we, we spent the first evening uh, when we arrived, we went for a, a walk, so I think we went for an eight kilometre walk just to sort of warm up for the, the following day, um, all around the, the hills and the farmland that, that surround the lodge. Then the following morning we hit the road, we had a, an hour, approximately an hour and a half drive to the Snowdonia region. Um, where we stopped at the Raidu, and apologies again if, if any of the pronunciations today are not correct, um, but uh, I'll try my best, um, where we were heading up the Raidu path. The, the path is one of the, the least popular routes, um, and having now completed it, I can somewhat see why. Um, as you get further and further up, it does get a lot more scrambly and a lot more steep, um, but uh, from a, a personal experience point of view, I thought it was amazing. Uh, it added a bit little bit more extra challenge um, and generally was yeah very okay with the exception of the the, <laughs> the overhanging cloud that we had most of the time it was a, a really scenic uh, beautiful route to go up when we started the route the the weather kept chopping in and out of, of raining and not um, so throughout the video you'll potentially see me wearing my my rain mac or, or not at all um, but it actually wasn't cold at all which was really lovely so it was a it was approximately 15 to 18 degrees centigrade. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that converts to in Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll put it up on screen in a moment. Um, but uh, it was perfect hiking weather, to be honest. And once the rain stayed away, um, we had some of the most amazing uh, hiking conditions you could possibly ask for. During this hike, I used the vast majority of the things that I have shared in my previous video. Uh, I'll link that just now, um, whereby um, we were using my hydration pack, my USWE hydration pack, my wife was actually car carrying that. Um, we were using um, my Sporting Science beta, uh, beta fuel gels for some sustenance during the, the hike. Um, the, we were using builders or um, cliff protein bars as well for some sustenance, as well as some other sandwiches and whatnot. Um, using my Apple Watch and my Apple phone um, with the Kamut app to make sure that we were following the GPX route. Um, now, the Raidu path isn't the most obviously labelled at, at times, so having that GPX map was, was generally quite helpful, um, but I think for the most part you'd, you'd struggle to get lost on the route, which was, which was really, really cool. Um, in addition, I was using my Dekain Heli Pro backpack to store uh, the raincoats, uh, extra food, drink, etc. And on my feet, I had my um, Hoka Speedgo 5s. Guys, I cannot tell you how great those shoes were for the hike. They were absolutely awesome. At no point did my feel, feet feel in discomfort. So much so, in fact, that um, you'll see towards the end, my wife and I started jogging our way back down the mountain and 
when it got to uh, approximately three kilometers from the end of the route, um, I actually went and, and did a run by myself um, for three kilometers to the, the car park that we ended up at and a further three to back to the original car park where our car was parked. On our way up there, like I say, there are some amazing bits of scenery, whether it's little creeks running down the mountain um, or just looking out and seeing some of the, the wildlife, obviously primarily sheep and goats. Um, it was just, yeah, it was, it was a really beautiful walk up. I think the walk up took us about three and a half hours. Um, so for context, it's um, 1,030 meters um, peak height on, uh, on Snowden or uh, Ear Widfa. I do apologize if I've butchered that pronunciation, but again, I'm trying to use it as best I can. Um, and uh, we had, uh, yeah, three and a half hours to, to get up to the peak. There were times on the Raidu path where, you know, even I, who doesn't normally struggle with heights, um, found it quite precarious, especially when walking along the spine between um, between two peaks. It, um, it's not particularly narrow underfoot, but just having sheer drops either side of you was, was a little bit scary. Um, again, having the cloud cover on that day probably made it even less scary um, than it could possibly be. If it was on a very clear day, I would imagine that drop looks even more um, precarious than it did for us um, but certainly walking along with um, with Bernie the, the, the dog was additionally uh, <laughs> it was an additional challenge for sure um, fortunately we took it in turns so you know I didn't, I didn't have to, to look after Bernie the entire time but um, it certainly added to the, the complexity of the route on the way up. When we got to the peak, I was very surprised to see how many people there are up there considering the weather. Um, but one thing that I didn't sort of take into account, having done Scarfell Pike earlier in the earlier on in the year, is that you've also got the train option to get to the top of the, the summit. So there was a mixture of people who had hiked and, a, and people who had got the train leading to um, somewhat of a crowded summit, as you can see in these videos. We, we queued probably for about 20 minutes to to officially touch the top of the summit and get a picture. Um, but yeah, what, what an achievement. So that's two of the, the three peaks in the UK done for me this year. I'm really hoping to, to get uh, up to Scotland and do Ben Nevis before the end of the year. Um, so not quite a 24 hour three peaks challenge, but getting all three done within, within this year and then maybe next year we'll go for that, that proper three peaks challenge. So as I mentioned earlier, we, we went, went up the Raidu Path. We were coming down the Snowdon Ranger. So um, we had decided that we didn't want to do just an up and down on the same route. We wanted to do more of a, a circular route. So um, again, using Kamut and GPX files, I, I found Ranger route or the Snowdon Ranger route, which um, has a car park that's only three kilometers from where we parked, whereas some of them are, you know, tens of kilometers away from where we originally parked. So, 
Um, we went down the Snowden Ranger, which is a, a far more popular route in general. Um, and I can see why for beginner hikers or, or people that have maybe not hiked as much, it's a, it's a slower, um, more gradual ascent up, um, but it is constant. So, you know, it's not really, it doesn't offer you a lot of respite, whether it, whereas with Raidu, there were, you know, high, high uh, steep inclines followed by a bit of a taper off um, to give you a chance to, to really um, take your breath, get your breath back and, and relax a little bit. But nonetheless, we were going down the Snowden Ranger, and as I mentioned, my wife and I did some jogging down here. Um, it, the, the underfoot it just allowed for this perfectly. It was a, a really, really lovely route to jog. Then as we got to the halfway point on the way down, we, we finally had the clouds lift, as you can see here, and we were welcomed with this absolutely fabulous scenery of lakes and farmland and you know the, the, the mountains around us. It was, it was truly amazing. Um, I'm, I'm very, very fortunate I got to do this um, when we did. It was a bit of a, a last minute decision to go and do this hike and, and do this stay, but I cannot tell you how happy I am that, that we decided to do this. It was, yeah, it was for both, like I mentioned, the, the body and the mind, it was, it was a couple of days that we really needed. Um, it was a, a, a time to sort of sit back, reflect, um, but also just go and challenge ourselves doing a hike like this. It was, um, yeah, it was the perfect couple of days away. I just want to take a moment here to jump in and say thank you all for, for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, just take a moment to, to subscribe, um, comment uh, or like the video. If you wouldn't mind, it really, really supports this, this channel and the community. Um, if you hit that notification bell, you will be notified as soon as these videos go live. Um, as I've said all along, this is not just about me. This is about building a community where you know we can converse, we can have um, you know discussions around the topics that we cover each, each week. And uh, I really, really want this community to grow. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, and uh, and let's get chatting in those comments. Thank you so much. On the screen now, I'm going to throw up some of the screenshots from um, from the data sets that I gathered whilst doing the hike. So this will be my my zone heart rate monitoring. I was really, really surprised at how my cardio um, fitness has just improved over the course of the year. Now, yeah, I've put a lot of work in, but I wasn't expecting it to be as effective as it has been. As you can see, up until the very end where I went for the, the basically six kilometer run, um, we were in sort of zone two, zone three for most of the hike, which, you know, from a cardio fitness point of view, I was really, really proud of. So yeah, really cool data set to, to take away from from this hike. And then in case you're interested, this is our route up and down the mountain. So this is the data from Commute. Um, so the, the Raidu path, this shows the elevation gain um, along with the, you know, the, the route that we took. And then the Snowden Ranger route. Um, again, both these routes, absolutely great. I, I would honestly recommend the Raidu path. Um, like I mentioned, it's one of the least popular. So very few people on there. I, I think I would say that we probably saw 10 people until we got to the summit. Um, versus on the Snowden Ranger where um, on the initial, I don't know, one kilometer, we probably saw closer to 100 people. So yeah, bear that in mind if you're, uh, if you're planning on visiting uh, the area anytime soon. This video certainly took some inspiration from a YouTuber, a content creator who I, who I watch on a weekly basis, which is Jeff Peltier. Um, he is a, a, an ultra runner who records some of the most amazing cinematic videos um, when him and uh, his wife are, are busy running through all sorts of incredible scenery. Um, so yeah, I wanted this to be a bit more relaxing for you all and uh, less me intensive. So yeah, once again, really hope you enjoyed the video. I have been Alex. This has been For The Par Mind Body Golf and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.